Hey guys, what's up? It's me here, Jonathan, and today I'm doing a review on my custom LEGO Bradley fighting vehicle. So this is a newer uh, custom LEGO build of mine, um, and you guys have been asking for a review on this, and so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you do, hit that like button at the end of the video, uh, or you could hit it now. Also, tell me what you think of it down below in the comments. Uh, this Bradley has all the features of the real one. Uh, plus it's a uh, good scale and yeah it doesn't have all the features just because of the scale wise it was a little bit uh, hard to put some of them in because of uh, how small it was but um, other than that it's pretty awesome so as you guys can see this is a 360 degree view of what the tank looks like all around later on I'll be getting into the uh, scale comparison compared to a minifigure uh, and I'll also be showing the features but for now as you guys can see it looks really detailed and it's pretty awesome so now I'll go ahead and show you uh, minifigure scale hey guys so this is the minifig comparison uh, so yeah it's pretty awesome as you guys can see it's a good scale the minifigures uh, helmet slash head is a little above the armored side plating on the side of the Bradley so uh, pretty awesome, and yeah, I really uh, like this. Also, I did forget to mention this is 100% my design. I used reference pi pictures of real ones online, um, and I did not actually look at any other LEGO vehicles. So, uh, yeah, and I guess I'll go ahead and uh, show you in a bit different view. So this is what it looks like kind of in a different view, give you guys a uh, better look at that. Um, now I'll go ahead and show you guys all the different features. Alright guys, now as for features, I'll be showing you, the first feature I'll be showing you is the turret. So unfortunately the turret cannot hold any minifigures um, unless you take their legs off, um, which, I don't know, kind of defeats the purpose. But there is two little studs under these two hatches that you can uh, put the minifigures on. Um, so we have the uh, smoke flares right here. Which unfortunately I couldn't really put put that in uh, on the front because on the real one they're actually on the front there. Um, but this is a radar. Uh, this would be a range finder, um, and there is actually supposed to be antennas, but unfortunately I couldn't find the right size. Actually, um, the antennas, the Lego antennas, were extremely tall, and I'm not sure if they're that tall. So um, it was almost as like three-fourths of the uh, length of the Bradley, how tall the um, they were. Um, but yeah, so we've got the rocket pods right here with the two rocket shells in the back. Uh, the front things, I don't know what those are, I guess, uh, to reload them. They are spring uh, rockets where they are actually be able to guide it with um, some springs or whatever. So, And then we have a net back here, uh, which is pretty awesome. And overall, I really like the design of the turret, and yeah. So now I'll move on to the more back features. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, main body part of the tank. Um, there is, I took the turret off, as you guys can see, and that's kind of how it attaches. Uh, but in the back, as you guys can see, it's got these um, four, or not four, but uh, a little armored siding right there. Uh, the Bradley, the real one, only has one inch of armor protecting. Um, not a whole lot of armor, but it is more of an infantry uh, carrying vehicle. So, But uh, in the front, we've got some vents here. Uh, and right here, actually, there's a hatch that does open, if I can just pop that open right there. Um, and a full minifigure can actually fit in there, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I actually won't show that just because it's kind of hard to get the guy in there. But let's go ahead and close that back up. I do like the nice uh, detailing on the side right there that kind of you know, adds some cool stuff to it. Uh, we have some sloping uh, right here. I'll go ahead and take off the uh, armor siding, side armor. Um, and I won't show you guys the other side because it is actually the same exact thing. Um, and yes, the armor is actually extremely fragile as well as this tank, uh, which the bottom is actually most fragile. But as you guys can see, that's how it kind of attaches um and some cool stuff there so uh yeah and then i'll go ahead and put that back on uh, and if it's nicely and it does slope up the armor right there as the real one does um 
Now let's go ahead and move on to the uh, back, which is uh, pretty awesome. We've got the two back lights as well, and right here uh, we've got this door, which actually locks with uh, these two pieces, which are a little bit tough to get out, but you kind of have to pull them out um, just because, but as you guys can see, it does open. Unfortunately, it can't fit any minifigures, but it does have that feature, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put those back on. So last but not least, we have the front. Uh, we have a spare wheel, some uh, luggage packaging right there, and then we have the two front headlights, and then some, um, I guess you call those uh, tow hooks, um, and then, yeah, the treads, of course. So uh, pretty awesome. It is, I believe, eight studs wide, not including the side armor, which makes it about one stud wider, uh, but it is, I believe, 20... I actually don't know the length of it. Uh, it's somewhere in the 20, 20s, uh, but yeah, so I think that wraps it up for this uh, review. I'll go ahead and show you one last quick 360 view. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so this is one last 360 view of the whole tank itself. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, and uh, yeah, also comment down below what you think of it. And go ahead and check out my uh, Flickr page. You can link in the description to that, as well as some more information on the tank itself. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for all the support you give. And I'll see you guys in another review. See you guys.